El Paso police are releasing details on the initial investigation of the deadly multi-vehicle crash that killed 46-year-old Steve Carmona. Traffic investigators say the pileup started after a driver hit his brakes because of congestion on I-10. KTSM 9 News reporter Tirza Ortiz spoke with a defensive driving instructor on how you can protect yourself and others on the road. She's live with more. Hi, Tirza. That's right, Estella. The deadly wreck that happened on Saturday was a chain reaction of crashes. A local driving instructor telling me that incidents like this could be avoided if motorists just practice offensive driving when getting behind the wheel. Sandra Marquez and instructors at SVM Defensive Driving School spend their days teaching El Pasoans the importance of safe driving. We teach from statistics. We start talking about statistics from national, state to local statistics, all the way to how to make proper turns, how to give good following distance, how to avoid road rage. With Saturday's multi-vehicle wreck, Marcus says drivers need to be more cautious when it comes to merging into congested traffic. The person that has the right of way is always the bigger, better road. So obviously the freeway, because it's a four, five, three lane road, has right away. If you're merging onto the freeway, you have the ramp to pick up speed, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have the right away. Now, if you're on the farthest lane and you know there's people merging, as a good defensive driver should do, you need to give a bigger gap to allow at least one car to come in. She gives three rules of the road to follow to decrease the chances of a collision. Definitely following distance. Giving a good following distance is always so important because this is going to give you reaction time for the unexpected actions of others. Also, another one is always observing what's happening around you as a good driver. We in class teach that every uh, three to five seconds, we're supposed to be checking our peer view mirror, our side mirrors. And then definitely, what would be the other one? Not drinking and driving, okay? Uh, drinking and driving is such, it's so preventable. Adding that defensive driving starts with accountability. We have to be considerate of others, understand that uh, it has to do with respect more than anything. Because whatever I do behind the wheel is not only going to impact me, but everybody else that I'm sharing the road with. And this is a 13 traffic fatality so far this year. PD says their units are still investigating the wreck that happened this Saturday. But Estella, we actually are on the scene right now of that rollover crash that happened on I-10 near Copia. And if you want to look behind me, traffic has just stood still, absolutely hardly any movement. So these are tips that drivers can use in case something like this happens. Reporting in Central El Paso, Tears Ortiz, KTSM 9 News. Okay.